disrupted nonconformists are loose in the courthouse. Please return to your homes until the situation has been resolved. Have a nice day. What the heck was Edna doing to you back there? She was trying to rebuild my personality from the ground up, erasing the parts she didn't like. Harsh. Hey, it's my mom. Hey. Don't talk to her. She could give us away. What do we do now? Now we wait for the guards to clear out so we can make a break for your time machine. Shouldn't we go help? Once we go back and change history, none of this will ever happen. I guess. What's the DeLorean about? Where is the DeLorean anyway? I had the wreck towed to my secret lab near Clayton Ravine. Clayton Ravine? As in Clara Clayton? Why? Is that significant? Well, Clara's kind of supposed to be your wife, so yeah. Fascinating. <laughs> All right, Dad. No offense, Your Honor, but why'd you marry Edna anyway? She's... she's kind of crazy. Yes, now. But back when we were first dating, her madness was tempered by an ironclad sense of right and wrong. At least, that's how it seemed to me at the time. Mom! Dad! No! They'll be fine. Once we repair the time stream, none of this will ever have happened. I guess you're right. Looks like the coast is clear. Great. Let's go fix the DeLorean. I'm afraid I'll have to do that without you, Martin. What? Why? Well, from what little I understand of time travel, if you help me rebuild the time machine, your presence in the repair efforts could cause some sort of temporal paradox after we return to 1931. So what am I supposed to do, just hang out here in Bizarro Hill Valley until you fix the time machine? Exactly. But don't worry, if things work out according to plan, you won't even notice I'm gone. You know, for a second there, you sounded almost as confusing as the real Doc. See? We're making progress already. See you soon, Martin. Good luck, Your Honor. Oh, and you might want to stay off the streets for a few seconds. Okay. Stay off the street. Citizen Brown? Emmett? Da bist du schwanger gelassen. He's not yeah. coming back, you know. What are you talking about? Emmett. Without me to guide him, he's almost useless. Before I found him, he was a miserable failure who never finished anything. But with me to inspire him, look at what we've built! Docs, das ist eigentlich voll ich bin cooler als sie. Sie haben ihn dazu inspiriert, Schlechtes zu tun. You think you've inspired Doc? I'll have you know that without you, Emmett Brown is destined to build a time-traveling DeLorean and a flying time train. Preposterous. Emmett couldn't even build a dog feeder without me to guide him. Yeah, well he did that too. You're not the only inspiration of Doc's life, you know. In my timeline, he married one of the sweetest women of the 19th century. Sweetness. Yeah. Emmett needs discipline to stay focused. He's so easily distracted. Yeah, you've inspired him all right. Inspired him to turn Hill Valley into a bunch of uptight dorks. I wouldn't expect a delinquent like you to understand. Okay, Your Honor. Starting to get a little concerned here. Also, Doc, da hat die Maschine. One second I'm in the present, the next I'm six months in the past. Amazing. Six months? It took you six months to repair the time machine? 
Six months, my family fortune, and a sketchy deal with a gang of Libyan nationals. But it was all worth it for this moment. Ah! Emmett, don't do this. You need help. Oh, blow it out of your exhaust port, dear. Now that I've escaped into the past, your pack of divorce lawyers can't... Ah! Mark, how long have you been waiting for me? A couple of minutes, maybe. That's curious. I set the repair time circuits to arrive only a couple of seconds after I left. Oh, well. I'm sure there's no need for concern. It's probably just a minor miscalibration of the time circuits. Here. What's this? Clothes for our trip. We can't have you traipsing around 1931 in that ridiculous outfit. Wait, our trip? You didn't think I was going to let you erase the worst mistake of my life without my help, did you? Fine! Leave! Nicht lange.